everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. I do apologize for the lighting. It's a very rainy day for the next like four days. So I unfortunately have to use artificial lighting and I'm in my bedroom. I haven't filmed in here yet because I have done absolutely nothing to this bedroom since moving in. But yeah, today is a very exciting video for me because I'm finally going to be doing something with these awful, awful fingers. I am not a big fan of my hands. I think they're pretty just boring and ugly and like you guys know I am working on more self-care for myself so I have been working out every single day I have been eating healthy and the one thing that I love to do the most is my nails but I never take the time for myself to do them so like I said before one of the ways that I have been taking care of myself is to make sure that I eat healthy meals and the best way that I've been able to do this is with my sponsor of this video factor 75 so thanks to factor foods I have been able to eat healthy nutritious meals straight from home. Basically, Factor provides healthy meals made simple. They provide a menu each week on their website and you can choose from that menu what meals you would like to be sent. And based on your taste preferences, dietary restrictions, and meal history, you choose your meals and they craft the order for you. Each meal is cooked by scratch by real chefs using fresh ingredients. Your meals are delivered straight to your front door. They are never frozen, but you put them straight in the refrigerator once you get them and and you can heat it up in the microwave or the oven in minutes. My preference is doing the microwave because literally every single meal that I have tried heats up in literally two minutes, which is so quick for someone who works from home like me. Or if you're a parent who stays at home taking care of the kids and you don't have time to make a full meal for yourself, this is a great way to be able to take care of yourself in a short amount of time. It's also really great if you don't work from home because you can just bring the meal to work with you and heat it up in the microwave if you have one at work, which is really quick and easy. So Factor offers meat, seafood, and veggie based dishes and preferences that include keto, calorie smart and chef's favorites. So like, for example, I personally do not like seafood at all. It makes me feel very sick. So I've made sure to tell them that I do not want seafood and they have never sent me any type of seafood dishes. I told them that my favorite is chicken. So they always like to send me like pork and chicken dishes, which I really appreciate because there has not been one meal that I have tried that I have not liked and I'm a very picky eater. They have sent me over 20 meals and I have liked every single one of them. They also have Factor Plus where you can get juices, soups, protein, energy bites, veggie sides, and desserts. This time they sent me the like tropical punch and strawberry banana juices. My boyfriend really likes the strawberry banana one and I really like the tropical juice one. So we've been drinking those really fast and I really like those. And also Factor offers a complimentary nutrition coach with all of their subscriptions, which includes a 20 minute consult with a registered dietitian to get advice for your wellness journey. So that's really nice for people who kind of need a little bit of coaching along the way to help them. That's really nice that they include that. So if you guys are interested in trying factor foods for yourself i know a lot of my subscribers have tried it already i've gotten pictures and so many nice messages saying that you love the program so i'm so glad a lot of you guys really enjoy it if anyone else would like to try it i will have a link for it down below and in the description box you'll get a hundred and twenty dollars off your first five weeks of factor so if you click that link down below you get a hundred and twenty dollars off your first five weeks that's an insane discount or you could use the code Alyssa nicole 120 so thank you so much factor for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the nails. And I bought a box full of nail supply stuff and I'm going to attempt to do some Valentine's Day dip nails today. I used to do acrylics on myself like a couple years ago at home and I just really could not stand using acrylic. So I saw this method on um, YouTube from a couple people using like dip nails where you use like dip powder instead. It looked so much easier and I feel like I could do it. So I'm going to try my best today to do it. I'm going to unbox all of these things, show you what I bought, and then I'm going to attempt to make some Valentine's Day nails out of all of the things that I'm showing you. I have quite a few nail supplies items. 
already like nail polish i have a bunch of nail polish and nail accessory stickers and stuff but i wanted to buy some more because nail accessories are like my favorite thing to look at and buy i think it's just because it's so colorful so let's just go ahead and get started let's start with this box right here all right the first thing we have right here is just some pure acetone i have nail polish remover but i've never used like pure acetone before but i know it is very very strong not recommended to use often and i bought some just in case I want to like soak off some nails or something like that. It's always good to have it on hand. I just realized this is actually a weight scale so I'm not going to show that. Next we have some cute heart nail decor. That's so cute. So here is what they look like. So we have some butterflies, hearts, flowers, just little circles, um, a bunch of different size hearts here. Really cute if you can see it better from this side. So I'm probably going to be using the little hearts for my design today. I have an idea in my head what I want to do. It's gonna be very simple, but I have an idea. All right, next we have a huge bag right here. At the top, we have a 120 watt nail lamp. I already had a nail lamp, but it was like a super cheap one and it just didn't work amazing. So I wanted to get a stronger one so I didn't have to cure my nails as long. Yeah, it had good reviews. It looks nice as well and it still wasn't that expensive. I'll have the links down below for all of the stuff I'm showing in this video. Then right here, I don't remember what this is called, but it's kind of like a little tool to help you easily do a French tip on your nails. So it's like this silicone. So if you have a long nail, you stick it in here and like you put the nail polish on it and when you stick your nail in, it's supposed to make a French tip on your nail. I'm not really sure if these work amazing, but I've seen a lot of people use them, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to try it. Then I got some super strong nail bond glue. I got a kit of buffer blocks and nail files. And sorry if you can hear like little pitter patters on the ground. My dogs are walking around on the ground and you can hear their little nails. Then I got some Sally Hansen vitamin E nail and cuticle oil. I have some cuticle oil currently, but it's almost out. So I figured I'd get some more. I got some exfoliating rounds and I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree this weekend. So I'll probably buy more at the Dollar Tree, but I just got some from Amazon. So this is the Beatles Dip Powder Essentials Kit right here. Beatles is the brand of all of the gel polish I have and it seems like a really good brand. So I just stuck to it. They have a lot of really cool kits on Amazon. So as you can see, here's the kit here for the dip powder. So number one is the base that you apply. And then after you do the dip powder, you use the activator to cure all of it to your nail. And then number three is the top coat to top it all off. And then number four is actually a brush saver. You use this to kind of clean your brushes. So that's pretty cool. And it also comes with some extra brushes in here. So that is what you use to like activate and keep the dip powder on your nails. Next, I just have some regular rubbing alcohol because I ran out. Um, before the move. Then I have the actual dip powder. So this is the same brand as the activator and the base and top coat and all of that. Um, they have like full kits on their Amazon shop where you can get like a bunch of different dip colors, but I just wanted to get clear and then just paint whatever color I wanted on top of it with gel polish. So I just got some clear dip powder so it just comes out clear and then I can paint it whatever color and then in the future I'll get like other dip powder colors. But I wanted to try with clear first. Then the same Beatles brand, I got some nail art brushes because I want to eventually do nail art. I don't think I'm going to be doing it in this video, but I wanted to get some nail art brushes to do art on my nails. I also got this kit. It comes with like 10 different nail art. You can see they have like the different size circles at the end. And then I also got this dehydrator and primer set. I didn't realize that I actually already had some primer and dehydrator, so I won't need to open this for a while, but I got a new kit. All right, and then I got some fake nails, fake tips, and I just got some clear ones, and then I also got some like whitish colored ones to make my nails longer because they're extremely short. Next, we have the little nail drill that I bought. I had another nail drill that was literally just like this one, and it worked great but I somehow lost it during the move. I lost a bunch of random little things during the move and I have no idea where any of it went. So it comes with the drill, the plug, all the different thingies. I don't remember the name of them. Bits and some extras as well. It comes with a lot. And the last thing is this dip powder recycling system. 
You don't necessarily need this, but I figured it would keep the dip powder as clean as possible. And it also comes with this cute little pink kabuki brush. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's like this little system here and you have like little trays that you pull out. So um, I'll have to look up how to actually use this, but I believe that you just pour the dip powder in here and then you just dip your nail in it. And then afterwards you just kind of pull the tray out with the rest of it and then pour it back into the dip powder. I think, I could be wrong, but yeah, I just got that cause it popped up with the dip powder stuff. So I figured I would just buy it. So that was all the stuff that I bought to do these nails. So I am not a professional. I have done my nails at home only a couple times and that was with acrylic. But I'm teaching myself and I don't like going to nail salons so I want to do it at home. So take everything that I am showing you with a grain of salt because I know that I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna try my best. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the nails.
Okay, hey guys, it's the next day. As you can tell how busted I look, I just woke up. But I finished my nails yesterday. They look good from far away. Like you can see them from far away. They look good. Um, but up close, they need work. I don't think it's bad for my first time, but I didn't realize how hard dip dipping as like actually is. Like it kept getting too thick. It also keeps like clumping up against my cuticles. I had a really hard time filing it down. So I just feel like it's really lumpy. I don't know. Like I feel like it's around the cuticles way too much. I haven't cleaned them up with acetone to try to get it out of my cuticles. Cause like I was so tired last night. I did my nails for like four hours. They didn't even end up being good. So I was like really just frustrated and I just stopped filming. I mean, this wasn't tutorial or anything. It's just me trying. So I'm going to keep practicing. And in the future, if I get better, then maybe I can make some more nail videos. Yeah, here they are. So I'll show a different view so you guys can kind of see the imperfections a little bit more. It's not horrible. Like I said, for my first time, I think it's pretty good. Up close, they're definitely pretty tacky. I do like the colors. Um, I think it's really pretty. I also like the length because I can still do things with them. I mean, even then, I know a lot of people that get fake nails all the time. They prefer to have them because they don't like when their fingertips can touch things but I'm the complete opposite. The feeling of having nails is very overstimulating for me. Like when I touch something and the nail hits it, I feel like I'm going to explode. So I have to get really used to having fake nails again because I like being able to feel things with my fingertips and really hard. And also all of my fingertips feel like bruises right now and I don't really know why. Let me know if that's normal. I don't know if it's just because the nail tips like are pleasing the nail a little bit, but like my fingertips feel like bruises and it hurts to put pressure on my fingers. I don't think that's normal. I don't know though. Yeah, so definitely let me know or if you have any like nail requests for like future videos, I can try to do some more. Yeah, I'm not trying to be too hard on myself because for my first time, I think it's pretty good, but let me show you what they look like up close. Okay, so here's my left hand. So as you can see, there's a lot of clumping around the cuticle area and it doesn't make the nails look even at all. And it's very lumpy and like thick and just, first of all, they're not even even either, but you can just see where they're not very even like right at the end right there. They're very just clumpy and they just look really, really bad. I tried to follow the dip tutorials that I have watched where like you start at the apex and then you go lower, but I just feel like it didn't work and it just made it more thick and clumpy. I don't know. Here's my right hand. Um, once again, just really clumpy. This nail right here, you can kind of see at that top right bit, how it's just like a lump just in the cuticle you can just see how the gel nail polish just collects in that cuticle right there and i'm not really sure why it's doing that it's really it's doing on every single nail like it just clumps in the cuticle yeah they're not horrible but they're not good either <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was just a fun video that i wanted to make trying some dip nails at home um i'm not a professional this is my first time trying dip nails i do think that i did better with acrylics like i said i hate doing acrylics because the monomer gives me a raging migraine like i can't stand it and these nails didn't have any smell other than when I had to use like the rubbing alcohol, that's it. So there wasn't like intense smells in the room. It was way simpler than using acrylic. Yeah, I, I really liked the process. I think I just need to practice to make it look more professional. Because right now it does not look very professional. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Patreon down below. On Patreon, you get exclusive behind the scenes videos, pictures. You also get joined into a Discord community where we have a really positive community full of people and we're all really great friends. We talk every single day. So if you'd like to join that Discord, I'll have my Patreon down below. I also have my social medias down below as well if you'd like to stay up to date on future uploads or just my life in general, I'll have that down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.